Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a guest in studio. This is Teddy. If you guys are new to my channel, you probably haven't seen him. Um, but this is one of my five pets. He's the neediest dog alive. And every once in a while, when I feel like he's gonna behave, I let him in here, and usually he doesn't behave. Also, one of my cats is in here, Earl. Um, I don't know if he'll make an appearance. Um, but yeah, Teddy's been on on uh, videos before, and he can be a drama queen, so we'll see how things pan out. So far, we've knocked so many things over, so let's just see how that goes. Really quick, I do want to tell you guys, um, I love my outfit today. It's this dress I picked up from Target. It's from the Who, What, Where collection. And I actually picked up two dresses like this a year or two ago that were longer. This is a short style. I'll try and put up a picture or like an Instagram story of me wearing it. If you guys are interested, it's super flattering and I just really like it. And the eye look I have on today is one that I did with the new, there's Earl, the new Natasha Denona Sunrise palette. I have used that palette twice already and I'm really, really enjoying it. So yeah, we got a full, full house. Hi Earl. And like Teddy's freaking out, so it should be an interesting video. But, oh, and I really quick wanna remind you guys, I do have a little giveaway going on. I ordered the Huda Neon Obsession palettes and Instead of sending me a green, an orange, and a pink, they sent me two pinks. And so Sephora said I could keep it, and I decided I would do a little giveaway. So there is, oh my god, this cat. There is a little giveaway in my Huda Neon Obsessions video. So, oh god. If you guys are interested in that, check out that video. I will try and remember to link it down below. Otherwise, it's one of my most recent videos that went up this week. So yeah, I'm so excited to talk about all the freaking makeup. Oh my goodness, there's been so much to talk about. So the first thing I see is a new collab. This is between Kylie and Khloe Kardashian, and it's called the Coco Eyeshadow Palette. There's a True Mama Highlighter, the Big of the Hoops Liquid Lipstick, and some other liquid lipsticks and things like that. And this is set to launch June 14th. I don't really buy anything from Kylie Cosmetics. I haven't in a long, long time, and there's nothing really about this collection that's calling to me, so I will definitely be passing on that, but I know there's a lot of people that love Kylie, so we want to talk about it. And then KKW and Kim Kardashian are teasing a body glow, potentially, and this will be available June 21st, so those are like the first two, three posts I see on Trend Mood, which is like what I use to talk about new makeup releases. Mm -hmm. ColourPop, for once, didn't have some crazy huge launch this week, but they did launch something. So in case you're worried they weren't gonna do anything, they did do a little bit, and they launched some pre-curated like palettes. So they do this every once in a while where they'll put their singles into like a palette, and then you can like buy the um, palette with the singles and it's like one price versus buying things individually um, so they have some nice vibrant ones um, the thing I'm really excited about obviously I'm not gonna place a ColourPop order just to get this but they did come out with a creme gel liner in a red shade um, which looks really fun it's called Venus and they were having a sale um, and I was really tempted but I'm not gonna place an order just for one red eyeliner and I do have Linda Hallberry's red eyeliner so I'm not gonna you know rush out and buy it and another interesting uh, preview that we got today was Jeffree Star's summer collection he teased the packaging yesterday and then did a full reveal video today of his summer jawbreaker collection oh my gosh this cat is gonna girl come here he's so funny anyway Jawbreaker collection. I love that he picked like the chartreuse shade. I'm so into green and chartreuse and honestly I've kind of like low-key been eyeing a Jeffree Star mirror. <laughs> I don't know why. I never really wanted one. Uh, but this new color, the green and the Jawbreaker mirrors look so cute. I love the Jawbreaker makeup bag. I actually like the accessories more than I even like the palettes. The palettes I'm a little bit iffy on. 
At first, I was really like hyped and I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. But if I really think about it, I don't really use a lot of the Jeffree Star palettes I buy. Like, I love the blood sugar, but the Alien palette and the Blue Blood palette just kind of sit around in my collection after the hype died off. And I feel like this one might be one of those as well. I do like the mini palette. I really wish he hadn't done repeat shades in the mini palette that are in the big palette. It would have been nice if he did unique ones because I have a feeling a majority of people will probably just buy both that are fans of his brand so we'll see I don't know I, I kind of have my eye on a palette but I don't know what I'll do I really love the mirrors though and I love the makeup bags I love that big one I love the pink one um, I love the yellows like he did some really fun ones I even think the merch is cool like the you know the sweatsuits and the windbreakers and stuff I, I think those are all very like fun and trendy looking pieces um, so yeah, I think this is gonna be a really fun collection. Um, the lip scrubs sound yummy as well. I have one lip scrub from Jeffree Star and I haven't even made a dent in it. Probably means I should scrub my lips more, but I keep it in the shower and use it when I kind of remember to use it. So I don't particularly like collect the lip scrubs. Um, they are pretty affordable though and I'm, su I'm sure there's people out there that do collect every flavor. Um, but that's just not me. I do like his liquid lipstick formula. It's one of my favorite things. And I really, really like some of these liquid lipstick shades he's coming out with. That nude terracotta shade is beautiful. I also love a nice bright, bold, tomato, coral, red uh, lip for the summertime. But I feel like I have that. I kind of really low-key want to buy the green liquid lipstick. Um, because you guys know I love green. And I have his other green shade from Holiday and you guys actually really liked that shade when I wear it in videos. So I low-key have my eye on that. I won't probably get any of the Supreme Frost or just the regular Skin Frost highlighters. Really not my thing and I don't really want a whole palette full of it. And then I've never really been into his lip ammo so I could easily pass on those. But yeah, I kind of have my eye on the palette. I definitely want that big makeup bag. It's so cute and maybe one of the mirrors. So that's pretty much what I have my eye on. You guys definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys have your eye on because I'm so, so curious to hear. I know, you know, Jeffree Star is kind of a controversial brand. Some people love him, some people hate him. Um, I, I'm just, I really do think that he creates some very unique products. So they do make me happy. And then Sephora and Lily Lash did a collab and they did a face palette and it looks like they did some liquid lipsticks. The palette is $36 and uh, $34 for the liquid lipstick set and then they also did some mink lash, 3D mink lash in Miami for $30. So you guys know I don't usually wear a lot of lashes on my channel. I've definitely bought lashes from like the drugstore and hoarded them. Um, but I don't wear them like on a daily or you know weekly basis maybe if I ever like dress up for a special occasion or something like that I'll put on lashes but I recently purchased moxie lashes or whatever they came really fast and I'm actually wearing them today for the first time I wore them um, through my whole work day and I really like how they look they were so easy to put on and I definitely want to do a video showing you guys um, how I put them on I don't think it like you really need a video, but I think they're a good product. Definitely a little pricey, but uh, for somebody like me that doesn't really have the time to fuss with like lash glue and stuff, or the magnetic lashes where you like sandwich your actual lash between the two, I can never get those on. So I'm very happy to have something like this. And yeah, so far it's worked really well for me. Uh, MAC launched their Electric Wonder collection. And honestly, like, when I first saw this, when they teased this like forever ago, I was like, oh, it's another MAC collab, pretty packaging, but really nobody wants this, but it looked really gorgeous, and I actually really like MAC's highlighters. Um, I just bought the one from the Aladdin collection, and I really, really like that highlighter, so when I saw they had a face palette, and Macy's was doing a sale where you could get 15% off, I did purchase the face palette. I just wanted to see if it was good quality. Um, and I'm really, really curious because I've never really owned a face palette from MAC and it had some beautiful glowy highlighters and blush highlighty looking things. 
um, which looked really fun and I love the packaging. I think it's so, so beautiful. So since I could score it on a deal, I did pick it up. I'm not really huge on traditional lipsticks, so I didn't want those. And I thought the compacts were really pretty. They have these like um, highlighter iridescent powder things that look really beautiful, but I don't know that I would use that. And honestly, the compact was like a little bit cheaper than the face palette, so I figured I'd just go with the face palette. The brushes are really beautiful. There's two brushes, a face brush and an eyeshadow brush. Um, again, I just didn't feel the need to purchase a brush or anything so I passed on all that but I did pick up the face palette so I'm excited to get that in the mail and try it out and see if their palettes are as good as their individual compact highlighters so excited for that here's another thing I already bought because it already came out Dominique Cosmetics launched their Rustic Glam Summer 2019 collection and that consists of the Rustic Glam eyeshadow palette for $44 and then some eye brushes so um, I did watch her reveal video. Honestly, this palette, it doesn't really like, I don't know, it's, it's beautiful and I love her formula, so I was really curious to see if this was similar. Um, so I'm happy I got it. I'm happy she launched it on Sephora because then I can use, um, a gift card or I can get points that I can put towards, you know, getting a Sephora, um, loyalty, that rewards thing. Um, so there's a lot of benefits from things launching on Sephora and two-day shipping, free shipping, which is so, so nice. So I was very happy that she launched it on Sephora the same day she launched it on her site. And I will definitely be testing that out. Very, very excited for that particular palette. So Pat McGrath is coming out with more sparkly bullets or like her Blitz Trance. Uh, lip lipstick formula. I actually bought one of these when it first launched because I thought the packaging was beautiful. It's actually a nice formula. It's beautiful, but I would never buy like a whole set of them. I'm happy with the one I have. I hardly wear it. It's definitely like a collector piece, uh, but I won't be buying any more and this will launch on June 14th, Sephora and online. So that's cool. And then um, Alice and Olivia are collaborating with Maybelline and they have a very quirky style it's very I don't know I think this this collab is actually perfect like that packaging um, is like a perfect representation of Alice and Olivia to me they also did those like cat shoe flats if you guys saw those like a few years ago those were huge where it was like this beautiful little ballet flat with like a cat uh, motif on the front and it had like ear cutouts those are so cute the Alice and Olivia ones were like what two three hundred dollars i just bought like a dupe version but those were like iconic that's what i remember them for um so they're doing a full collection and they're doing some lipsticks eyeshadow palette mascara a lot of cute packaging um if i see this at like a target i might like look at it but it's definitely not something like oh it says it's an asian exclusive so I'm assuming it's not going to be an American thing, but it's beautiful. I should have read that part before I started talking about it, but oh well. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> and then I did pick up the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia collab again during the Macy's sale because I always pay full price for Anastasia products and I did tell you guys in my last video. So guys, I had to stop filming for like two seconds and I realized I had lipstick like all over my teeth, so... Yeah, that's embarrassing. But anyway, I was talking about the Alyssa Edwards and Anastasia collab. I picked that up during the Macy's sale I was telling you guys about. I think that might be still on when this video goes up. So if you want me to link Macy's down there for you guys so you can shop my link and spend some money and then I can make some money, <laughs> that will be so great um but yeah i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out it's 15 percent off um their beauty section and they have a lot of new releases on there so i also picked up the new urban decay glitters but we'll probably get to that so anyway milani is launching some new eyeshadow palettes they are kind of really cool it's the gilded noir and the gilded rouge and these are twenty dollars sixteen shades will launch on june 11th and then they will be at Alta as well. Um, these look really cool. They kind of give me Urban Decay Naked on the Run or Naked. That one palette, the Urban Decay palette that has that same packaging vibes, but obviously a lot more 
colorful and fun. Oh, and they look like they're all shimmers. Am I wrong about this? I don't know. They look cool. I think they'd be great with the current lineup they have. If you compare it with the old palettes and then do some fun, shimmery, colorful looks with this. So very, very cool stuff. Glamlight is doing two new mini palettes. These are uh, called Slices of Pizza and there's 10 new shades and these will be $22 a slice. There's a Veggie Lovers, which is a green, and a Meat Lovers, which is a pink and red. Now, I didn't buy their pizza palette. I bought their taco palette as well as their burger palette. I have a look with the taco palette. I will try and remember to link it. Otherwise, you will find it in my videos on my channel. Um, and then I haven't filmed a look for you guys with the burger palette yet, but it's really fun. And there's so many beautiful greens and pinks in those palettes that I can't justify buying these ones, but if you didn't want a big ass palette like the burger palette or the taco palette or the pizza palette, I think this will give you the same vibe without having to have such a big palette or spending, you know, the amount of money you would need to spend. So these launch on June 8th at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you use the code TRENDMODE, you'll get 15% off your purchase, which I think is super fun. Persona Cosmetics is coming out with some new lip shades. They're coming out with a pink and coral lip gloss and then a vibrant fiery orange red matte liquid lipstick. Again, these all look really beautiful, but I don't really need any of this, so I will be passing on it. And then Becca came out with a small um, palette. It's called the Afterglow palette with five shades. Honestly, these are actually I think all of these shades are existing shades from what I can tell like I know their flower child blush and champagne pop obviously do exist and I'm pretty sure some of the other names sound familiar to me as well so, or this is a Nordstrom exclusive palette for $44 I am definitely kind of over the Becca train I have so many of their not so many of their I have like two face palettes from them I two three face palettes from them I believe and I don't reach for them enough and I feel like Becca's one of those brands that hasn't really done anything new and inspiring yet or anything that's like grabbed my attention so I'm not interested but if you want to try the brand that might be a fun way to do it. I don't know that that palette is going to be flattering on every skin tone but obviously you guys can figure out if it's going to work for you. This is kind of cool. This is a collab with the brand Stilazzi and Jordan Liberty, um, and it's called The Dark Room. It is a beautiful palette, um, but I haven't ever bought anything from Stilazzi, so I don't see myself buying this. Um, I'm, I mean, I think it looks beautiful. It reminds me a lot of that secret palette that um, Nabla just came out with and like the OPV palette, I think. Kind of reminds me of that one too. I think it's really cool. It has 18 shades, 9 warm, 9 cool, with a mix of mattes and soft metallics and la-di-da-di-da. -da -da. And there are four shades that can be used as transitions on various skin tones and all this stuff. And it's cruelty-free, $39. June 11th is the pre-order and it'll ship June 25th. And if you use the code TREDMOOD, you get 25% off. So that's actually a pretty decent deal, like 25% off. I usually never see 25% off codes. So this was announced and I didn't get a chance and I didn't get a chance to talk about it in my last Will I Buy It video, so I'm excited to talk about it now. This is the Morphe Pride collection that they did. It's called Live in Color and it's very rainbow and I think it's actually really attractive. It's one of the most attractive palettes I've seen from Morphe recently. I like the size where it's not like that big 39 um, you know packaging or the 35 packaging. It has a theme. It's not just like a generic palette with like generic packaging so I like that. I like the brushes. I think it's a cool idea if you're you know wanting to try Morphe and you haven't bought a rainbow palette from them. I think this is really cool. 20 bucks for the palette, 28 for the eye brush set. I was really tempted to buy the palette and just throw in the eyebrow set and then I had picked out some liquid lipsticks from Morphe because I love their liquid lipsticks but there's so many things I want this month that I was able to talk myself out of this so and also I was able to talk myself out of it because 
I always post new releases on my YouTube community tab and you guys are so good at you know telling me yay or nay and just sharing your opinions so I really appreciate you guys taking the time to comment on those posts because I get such a kick out of it reading like your thoughts and it's such a great way for me to communicate with you guys um, other than when I'm uploading YouTube videos so if you haven't checked out my community tab definitely do lots of fun discussions going on there um, okay so this was a cool one as well and I kind of had my eye on it but so far I've been able to resist this is the impulsive eyeshadow palette by Milk Cosmetics it's an 18 shade palette featuring two sides that tells the story of Milk Cosmetics and yeah I heard Lauren May Beauty talk about this palette and she said that she thinks Melt is like the new Cavon D and the new Urban Decay um, for Sephora and I really kind of agree with her I think it's a really smart thing that she said and as soon as she said that I was like oh my god she's so right because they're so edgy um, their vibe is even kind of gives me like Urban Decay vibe especially with this palette the packaging uh, it's kind of bulky but it's still like different and cool looking and so I was really curious about buying this um, and then I was kind of like again there's so many things I want this month that I need to like you know, I can't go completely crazy. I kind of want to say I'm on a low buy, but you guys, it, I don't have any rules and stuff. But I want to try and restrict myself and not buy everything. So this launched on June 6th and it is available on Sephora's website. Let me know if you guys picked it up. This is, again, a reason why I can't buy everything because I'm so curious about this. I hadn't ever heard of the brand Luminous, but I do follow Sir John on Instagram. If you guys don't know, Sir John is Beyonce's makeup artist. And I actually sent the tip to Trend Mood. Um, so she mentioned me in her caption. Um, if you guys didn't know, if you see something new and Trend Mood hasn't posted it yet, you can just like DM it to her. I'm sure you guys already know this. I don't know why I'm telling you. Like it's like new information. Um, but I did DM her when I saw this and then she posted about it and tagged me in it. And yeah, I just love this collection. The movie, The Lion King, is probably one of those movies that most of you are traumatized by but like I am I don't know about you I'm assuming you are um, it's like my husband's favorite Disney movie and he's like trying to convince me to go see it with him the new version uh, but I see the trailer and I want to like cry um, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to sit through it everyone keeps telling me like I can close my eyes and just deal with it but this collection is so beautiful. The eyeshadow palette is gorgeous. The lipsticks look gorgeous. The face palette looks gorgeous. Like, I love everything about it. And they are doing a PR kit for $250. And I kind of like low-key want it because I feel like this is such a great like collector's piece. And yeah, just like it's doing it for me. And the fact that like such a great makeup artist is behind it um, is so inspiring. And I think he really like harness the collection and like what Lion King like embodies and like the looks and the palettes and I don't know so if you guys have tried this brand Luminous will you let me know in the comments because I'm really curious it looks like it's a direct sales type brand but I really don't know anything about it I've been seeing like ads from them pop up on my YouTube like when I'm watching people's YouTube videos so I'm like really confused about the whole situation but yeah you guys let me know what you think of them if it if it'll be worth it for me to try the whole collection because right now everything is speaking to me in that collection okay Milani came out with a highlighting palette it's called the Celestial palette for $19.99 and it is available for purchase on their website and you can use the code trendmood for 15% off this honestly if I didn't know it was Milani I would have guessed maybe that it was Stila uh, because Stila does highlighters like this and I actually have a Stila afterglow palette so even though this is beautiful and Milani is one of my favorite drugstore brands I won't be buying this but I think it's cool if you guys are interested NARS finally came out with their oil infused lip tint shades they came out with one when they did the orgasm collection but now they've added a few more shades I honestly feel like these all look the same and they're $26 a pop so I have no interest in picking them up but maybe some of you do and that's okay Becca again is launching another very uninteresting collection in my opinion they're celebrating the anniversary I think it was the fifth anniversary of champagne pop and they're coming out with like a whole collection of stuff and it's already out I actually did see it at my Sephora it just I mean champagne pop is an iconic highlighter 
um, it'll go, you know, forever in the history books, like, um, Give Me Sun and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese, like, highlighter. Those are all, like, in the Hall of Fame of highlighters, you know what I mean? So, if you haven't bought it, sure, I think you should get it, but you shouldn't just buy it because it's a freaking anniversary, like, collection. I wouldn't recommend doing that, um, especially if you already own it. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this guy. This is so fun. This is, like, one of those launches from the bomb that I actually appreciate because a lot of the stuff they come out with I kind of glance over but this is really cool they're coming out with a highlight shadow and blush duos and they're called the bomb fire uh like the bonfire that's cute and these are so cute and they're $26 each again this isn't something I'm gonna run out and buy but I love this concept from them because it's a little bit different and everyone's really into glowy blushes especially because it's the summer now so I think it's a really good thing that they did for their brand because like really they need they needed something new so I think that's really cool Urban Decay has sneak peeked a new liquid foundation in 50 shades for $39 each it's called the Stay Naked Foundation and I don't know I have mixed feelings about this I always love a new foundation launch because I still feel like I'm always looking for a new foundation but I'm also kind of like really over the whole naked thing and it's not just me I hear people say it over and over again that they're over the naked collection they're over the naked collection so I really really wish that Urban Decay would kind of come up with a new concept or you know just something I mean there's got to be other words that are synonymous with the word naked you know so it would be nice if they did something different so there is a new beauty brand at Target it is called Makeup Obsession and you guys know I love shopping at Target it's like one of my favorite hobbies other than makeup if you guys don't know Fun fact, um, I do have an account, an Instagram account dedicated to Target. It's called All I Want is Target. I will leave it down here and I will link it in the description box if you guys are interested in like following me. I don't really post enough, but I also don't go to Target enough because I'm broke half the time from buying makeup. So yeah, it's a sick cycle. Anyway, this brand looks cool. I love, you know, our Target is getting an overhaul. I don't know if you guys live in an area where you have a new Target or an old Target, but it's fun to see it go through the changes and I think it'll be fun to see if this brand gets to our actual store uh, but I also shop online a lot so if I really wanted to I could um, get um, some makeup but I'm, I'm not really interested in it right now okay so the next launch is some diamond lights um, from Artist Couture. I can't tell if these are eyeshadows. I guess they are. Now, I'm not really into pigments like this. I used to be. Oh yeah, there are eye pigments. These look really beautiful, but I'm definitely not buying these. They are launching on the 6th at 10 a.m. and they're $25 each. No thank you. I'm not a single shadow person and I'm definitely not paying that money for it so there's a bunch of new stuff available at Ulta um, there's some makeup revolution palette some um, benefit bad girl bang mascaras that they launched in different colors some BH cosmetics I've definitely been taking a look at this stuff I don't really want any of it but in case you guys were wondering it's all available on Ulta.com I am so pumped I bought this palette this is the Natasha Denona sunrise palette I don't know if I talked about it in my last Will I Buy it video, if they had announced it yet. I think maybe they didn't have it announced, but it like got leaked on some European website and then um, they announced it and honestly, I saw it and I was like, oh, looks like every other palette. Um, but then I kind of wanted it and then I got it and I was like, oh, it's not as vibrant as it looks in the pictures but I've worn it two days in a row now and I love it so it is the palette I have on my eyes today and I really really like how this eye look turned out and I posted a picture of my eye look yesterday and you guys really liked it too so I'm really happy I bought this palette plus I was able to use one of my rewards gift cards from Sephora so I didn't even have to pay for it and it was like the greatest investment ever by purchasing this so um, e.l.f. came out with a new highlighting palette and it's called the glow gleam beam and has three different highlighter finishes from soft glow to beaming um six shades in each palette for ten dollars oh so they did a like a light and a dark which i think is cool because 
Not everything's gonna work for every skin tone, so I always appreciate a brand that can do multiples um, so people can have options. These look really cool. I honestly just don't purchase from e.l.f. I used to be one of those people, especially, do you guys remember Live Loves Makeup? Like, I used to love her. Um, I mean, she doesn't post videos anymore, so, I mean, I don't mean I used to love her, but she was a channel I used to watch frequently, and she would do these big e.l.f. hauls and talk about e.l.f. skincare and all these products, and she was really good at, like, getting through products fast, whereas, like, me, I swear I'll use the same product for, like, ever, and I have so much skincare, it takes me forever anyway. So she would go through e.l.f. stuff, and I, like, bought some e.l.f. stuff, but I never really enjoyed any of the recommendations that she made, so I just don't buy e.l.f., and that's okay because, um, I don't need to buy everything. I do love their blush palettes, and I actually really like their foundation, too, but I haven't gone back to e.l.f. in a long time, but I think it's a cool brand, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy that they have such a variety at the drugstore at such a great price, but I don't feel the need to like stuff my drawers full of, of e.l.f. products, if you know what I mean. So Ulta has an exclusive summer eyeshadow palette from Morphe. This is called the 35H Hotspot Artistry Palette for $24. There's nothing in me that wants this palette. I honestly low-key think it's kind of hideous. So passing on that. And then Dominique Cosmetics launched their Prisma Glow Palette. Was not interested in this particular palette. I feel like... The shades aren't unique enough for me to want to spend $36 and acquire four highlighters. I did also just buy the Dior palette. So excited that I have that. I love that palette so, so much because I like the first one. So I'm happy to have the second one. Okay, Violet Voss just dropped some new palettes on Sephora. So they have this rainbow palette that they've had for a while and it's very tempting, but the eyeshadow pans are so big that I've never wanted to buy it, even though I've heard very good things about it. I don't really want this mini palette either, but I think it's cool that they did a small palette in case people wanted it. And then they came out with this giant monstrous palette called the Best Life Eyeshadow Palette for $49. And like, I don't get why anyone would want seven big pans of finely milled pressed glitters. I have definitely realized that I am not a fan of the pressed glitters, so I will avoid any palette with pressed glitters like the plague. And I think it's a good idea, but it's not for me. Like, I learned my lesson with the pressed glitter situation and I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. So this Tetris collection finally launched. This is uh, a collab between Ipsy and Tetris. And you guys, I love Tetris. I still have Tetris on my phone. Um, and I think this is a cool idea. Will I go buy this? No. Um, but I think it's cool that they did something different. And then Juvia's Place dropped some new powders. This is Part of their new complexion line it is their loose setting powders in five shades for twelve dollars um i don't really need another setting powder even though it's always fun to try out new products i'm not trying to like buy every setting powder and fill up my drawers with stuff so i did pass on that but i'm sure it's probably good i mean juvia's place hasn't really done anything bad in a long time i did try their foundation i have a video of me trying it i definitely need a different shade but I liked the formula. It was very full coverage. Definitely reminded me of like my favorite type of foundations like Estee Lauder, the Huda Beauty Foundation. So I don't wanna buy more of them, but I think if you're a full coverage human like me, you'll probably really enjoy it. So Jeffree Star did launch his The Gloss. I don't know if I really talked too much about it in my last video. Honestly, I don't love glosses. I have a few of them. I love the Papa Graph gloss, and I have one buxom gloss in the shade Dolly that I really like. I don't really like the Fenty Beauty gloss. I have the first gloss bomb, and I didn't love it, so I didn't buy any of the new shades. And Honestly, I would have probably bought one from Jeffree Star, but none of these shades really appeal to me. Um, there isn't like a nice mid-tone, non-shiny one. I would have wanted just like a gloss, not any that had shimmer in it. So none of these really appeal to me, which is great because I love having an excuse not to buy something. Like, I'm so happy when something doesn't appeal to me because it's a great excuse for me not to buy something, which is really hard for me to do. So Jouer launched their summer collection. It's also now available on Sephora. It's called the Tan Lines Collection and they did a palette. Uh, they did this blush duo and some lip glosses. My friend Hot Miss Ness bought the whole collection, I'm pretty sure. So um, if you guys don't follow her, I will try to remember to link her channel down below. If I, if I forget, 
just look up Hot Mess Ness. I'm sure she'll have a video on this collection soon. And honestly, the palette's beautiful. I love the last four shades, but I don't see myself ever buying this because I know it won't get any use after an initial review. I love the blush duo. I have my eye on it. I just don't want to spend 30 bucks on one, so I'm going to wait for now. Okay, so there is a collab coming. This is Beauty Creations X and It 69. Uh, honestly, this palette, it does look like kid makeup. Not really interested, um, so I'm going to just quickly skip over that. And then there is another collab. This is Stacey Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics. I have seen a lot of people use her first collab palette with that, with her, with them. And it's a really colorful palette. Um, but I believe it is an overseas makeup brand. And I've kind of chosen to pull back from buying from overseas brands because it just eats up a lot of my makeup budget. And I just don't need to, you know, I don't need to buy everything. So it's fine. This palette, honestly, I think is so ugly. <laughs> so if you liked it, don't feel bad. But it's just, to me, it's like these colors are just not good. So this is a collab between NYX Cosmetics and Aquaria, who is a drag queen. Um, I don't know. I just don't get this color story. I'm sure there's people out there that are super creative that get it. And that was 25 bucks, And I believe it's already available. Um, and then, this was so cool. ColourPop launched these cute little stick highlighters and blushes and honestly I wish I knew this was coming because of course I totally saw these little milk sticks on Angelica's video and I like freaked out uh, because I've been so into milk lately I've been loving this little blush I got from them during the Sephora sale this is the shade work and I really love that so much and I never thought I'd be into these milk stick products um, but I really actually do like these but the Colourpop ones are of course significantly cheaper so I kind of wish I had known these were coming. I did buy the Blue Moon palette as well as the Peony set so definitely or no I bought the Poppy set um, because I love hot like coral shades so I'm excited to play with that and definitely look forward to a video from that and then I've been seeing so many people do videos on the Jaclyn Hill um, new nude lipsticks that she came out with with her brand. Um, I honestly didn't have any interest in picking any of those up. I've definitely seen mixed reviews. I'm sure, you know, you're going to hear the good, the bad, the ugly, and the completely insane. When it comes to Jaclyn Hill, there's always people, you know, on each side of the line. So good luck to her. <laughs> and hopefully she makes it as a brand. And yeah, that'll be great. I low-key want this only because I have the feeling that it'll smell like summer. This is the Summer Solstice Scented Urban Decay All Nighter. I honestly don't get the hype with the All Nighter. I really don't think it prolongs the wear of my makeup. Um, but it's not the worst. So I do buy it every once in a while, but I don't love it. And I refuse to pay full price for this. So uh, I passed on it for now and then you guys must have seen my new video with the Huda Neon Obsession palettes. There's three of them. Like I mentioned, I do have a little giveaway in that video. So go ahead and enter that. And yeah, these are cool. I don't like the green one. Um, so most likely that one's going back. The pink one I tried once and I like it so far. I have not used the orange one yet. It did come from Sephora. So I'm excited to try it out and see. Um, so those are my thoughts so far. If you want to see the video, I will put it down in the description box for you guys. So Laura came out with a neon eyeshadow palette. I feel like I talked about this already as well, but it includes 10 shades. When I first saw this, I thought it was an ABH palette before I knew it was a Laura palette. And honestly, it's like a very, um, it's a very, I don't want to say pathetic, but it's kind of a pathetic effort for Laura to do color. Um, they're really trying here, uh, but honestly, they're not going to get $29 from me for that palette. Like, I have way too many colorful palettes to spend money on that. And then Pixi is doing a bunch of new collabs uh, for 2019. Um, there's a collab with um, Rach Loves. Um, heart that's heart or whatever her channel is um so a bunch of different stuff that they're doing and i think it's pretty cool i'm sure it'll be showing up at my target store so when i see it at target maybe i'll pick some of that stuff up you know i kind of love like hearts eye eyeshadow palette but again it's not something i really need so 
probably won't do it, but I think it's cool that they're coming out with all this stuff. So BH Cosmetics is doing a collab with Marvin Magnificent and it's an eyeshadow palette as well as brush set. This honestly looks like the old BH Cosmetics, it's my Ray Ray palette to me. It just, it looks so neutral and I don't have a problem with neutral palettes, but again, it reminds me so much of the It's My Ray Ray palette that I definitely don't need it, but I'm sure there's people out there that love this collaborator and they're gonna buy it and that's okay with me. Okay, so I'm low-key excited about this, but I haven't bought this yet. Marc Jacobs is finally coming out with another shade of his Tantor, tan tantalizer bronzer and then some of his like highlighting do droppy things. I don't know about those, but I'm low-key excited for the bronzer because I kind of want to buy it and wear it, uh, but it's also like a almost $50 bronzer, so I have it in my loves list. I may buy it sometime when it's on sale. That's probably when I think I will get it. Okay, and then Kaja is doing these cute little eyeshadow trios. These are fun. I actually swatched them, the ones they already have at my Sephora store, and I didn't think they were that pigmented. I know Tara Babies bought them and she raves about them, and I really like this pink one. It's so cute and bright, and even like the tangerine looking one, uh, but they're 21 bucks, and I just didn't think they were that pigmented, so I won't be buying those. And then we've got YSL coming out with some sequin crush eyeshadows. Uh, how much are these? I'm just curious. Does it say a price? It does not, but uh, they've got a few single eyeshadows and they look like those Dose of Colors eyeshadows that they have. Uh, definitely not interested. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. And then Lancome is doing a collaboration with Kiara uh, for how uh, for, uh, yeah, I don't know how to say her name, but she has a blog. She's had a blog forever It's called the blonde salad. She's like one of the richest bloggers in the world. She's Italian She's married to like this Italian rock star She has like literally the most awesome life because I followed her for years like since I was in college, which what that's like 10 I've lived in America for 11 years So it's been a really really long time that I've been following her and this was another one I um, messaged Trend Mood about, so she did tag me in this post as well. And I love like the vibe of the palette because that's like her iconic signature, like the eyes. Um, she puts that in all of her branding. She's got a fashion line. She's got a sneaker collab. Like she's got stores all over the world where she st sells this kind of vibe stuff. Um, and so it's cool that she got a collab because she is well known. Maybe not so much in the beauty community, but she's really, really famous blogger. So um, it's really cool to see her do something like this, but. Not something I'm gonna spend my money on. Okay guys, this was interesting. I don't actually know who Batty Winkle is, but I've heard other people talk about it. And she's got like 3.8 million followers on Instagram. So I'm gonna follow her too, because she looks like a badass. And she came out with a collab with Incredible Cosmetics. Again, I have not tried the brand. They did a glow rainbow highlighter, a rollerball lip gloss, a sheet boob mask, which definitely caught my attention. And uh, I think I saw Teresa's dead bought the highlighter, so it'll be interesting to see her thoughts on it. It looks like a cool highlighter, actually, now that I'm looking at the picture, but I need a highlighter like I need a hole in my head, so staying away from that. But I think it's a cool idea. Definitely looks different and fun. And oh, I did want to talk about this, because I didn't see anyone talk about this, but Makeup Geek did come out with a Bare All Beauty collection, um, and it's like a natural collection. I don't know, I feel like I see the same packaging from them and like the same, it's like the same and Marlena keeps promising that it's gonna be different but it's like the same and I can see people wanting this but I don't want it so I just thought I'd, you know, shout it out to you guys in case you got your eye on it but for me it's like a definite no. And then Give Me Glow Sneak Peek, their Vintage Rose Palette, which will be launching August 30th. So I already have something I'm looking forward to in August, which is a little bit pathetic. I missed their Juicy Olive launch, um, but I was able to catch it on the restock today. So I bought that palette and I'm so, so excited um, to have it come in the mail. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, so I used to love Super Beauty. I still do. I just don't get along with their formula so well, but they did come out with this palette. It's called the Artisan, um, I think. It is the big sister palette to the Super Beauty Protégé palette. This 
playground of finishes and textures includes eyeshadows, shades, one glorious pressed glitter, two highlighters, and two blushes. And this launched on May 29th. And I just love Suva's whole vibe. They're run by a Indian that grew up in... Um, where did she grow up? Suva is the capital of... I can't remember the Polynesian country she grew up in, but she lives in Canada now, and I love following her and her team. They seem so cool and relatable. I would love to meet her someday, um, but I just, I just can't justify right now buying a palette, so I'm going to be passing on that, but I just wanted to let you guys know that they're a great indie brand in case you wanted to try something different. Other than that, I think that's pretty much everything. I did buy the new Amy Loves Beauty palette that she's coming out with for her birthday her first birthday um she did like a pre-order and i picked it up and i didn't realize that she was sending it to me in pr so i'm so excited subscribe to my channel because there will be a giveaway of that palette um so keep your eyes peeled and that is everything i wanted to talk about i'm gonna hate editing this video because i already know it's gonna be like 10 hours long but i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you in my next one soon bye guys